Hey what is going on guys, Jamie here and today's video is going to be another trampoline tutorial or WWE move tutorial and I'm going to be doing like a improved re-upload type of thing uh, on how to do WWE Neville's Red Arrow because about four months ago I uploaded a video on how to do the Red Arrow and that has over 100,000 views and that is amazing, thank you guys so much and after watching my video a lot of people were commenting thanks I know how to do this now and a lot of people um, have learned how to do the red arrow and that's really cool but today I'm just gonna do like a re-upload improved because my red arrow has kind of changed since then um, and I reckon it looks a bit better but it's a little bit messy but I'm just gonna try and teach you how to do it if, for those of you out there that um, didn't quite get it or even if you know how to do the red arrow you, sh you can still watch this video just for some tips on it and just before I start this tutorial that tutorial on how to do the red arrow that has like 200 dislikes on it but it does have 1,000 likes on it, so thank you guys for that. But um, yeah, I can understand why it has 200 dislikes, just because I didn't explain it that well, and that's why I'm kind of redoing this video. And plus, like I said, my red arrow has changed since then. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I don't know if you can see behind me, but I have this giant teddy bear that I bought from Warehouse yesterday. And it is absolutely massive. Ugh. It's nearly as tall as me, nearly as big as that way <laughs> but yeah so yes yeah, so a tip would be if you want to do this move I find it better to like land on soft stuff I said that in the last video uh, on how to do the red arrow but this is really soft so it shouldn't hurt yeah so I'm gonna get into the tutorial hopefully I explain it a bit better than last time so um, yeah this is just a little re-upload so I hope you guys enjoy it and learn how to do it if you didn't or just you know watch it just to learn some more tips on how to do it and yeah, just before I start the video again, I just want to clip things out to you guys. Um, I am not Neville. I am not a wrestler, uh, even though I want to be. So I have no idea how to do these moves, but just from my experience, and especially because I do gym and like trampoline and stuff like that, um, I know how to do them. People always ask me, how do you do this stuff? And like, it's really hard to explain. Like, I'm not that great at tutorials. That's why I've only got a couple of tutorials on YouTube. And I think my last tutorial was how to do the Phoenix Splash. And that one was actually probably my best one because it was easy to explain um, and that is quite an easy move but yeah the red arrow is kind of it's an easy move once you know how to do it learning it is kind of hard but if you're like a person like me that like knows how to um, like do this stuff already it's pretty easy so maybe join a gym club or join like a trampoline place or maybe even parkour I don't know if they do that stuff but but yeah so I don't want this video to be too long but let's get into the tutorial. And this video will be similar to last time's one. Um, so I'll say stuff that I did in the last one. But hopefully it will be a bit better than last time's one. Um, so yeah, so the same moves. So you've got a backflip and a gainer. Those are like the main ones you want to learn. Because the twisting is the part that basically you need to learn to do the red arrow. Because um, if you can't do a gainer, then it's pretty hard to learn it. Um, I'll show you the moves uh, and just show you some tips and practice how to kind of get prepared for the twist it's really hard to explain um, yeah I just twist and land on my stomach so this move just to clear it up I said it in the last video um, being a I don't like to call myself a gymnast or a trampolinist it sounds really stupid but I'll just say being a gym guy I don't know <laughs> like it's natural and kind of easy for me to do these moves so just like I said before people always ask me how to do them and I just you know it comes naturally to me I just do it start somewhere so for the gainer it's just a backflip forwards it's kind of confusing but you're just pushing yourself forwards while doing a backflip um, and you're going to land on your stomach for the red arrow of course so you can practice landing on your stomach but if you um and like i said before have like a teddy bear or even a mattress would be fine anything soft that you can land on but once you've got the move you'll probably do it without the mattress so with this big giant teddy bear it's way softer to land on and it's really comfortable so i haven't actually tried the red arrow on this guy yet so this is actually my first time doing it but so you want to know how to do a backflip and a gainer okay so once you've got the backflip and the gainer you're going to need to learn the twists and so i said this in the last video but one move you want to do is it's basically like a whisper in the wind from Jeff Hardy. You know how he jumps up and turns and does the flip, so it looks like this. So you won't actually be doing that, so that's kind of half of the turn, because the full turn is, you know, because the full turn is actually this, so from a side angle. 
that's the twist you're doing but in the air while you're back flipping it's just a jump and when you turn you flip um, it's also done in the phoenix splash how you jump up and turn and flip so you want to try to do that so try to do a gainer and turn around in the flip and try land it it was actually really hard i just failed um, a couple of times then okay so now what we have to do is turn you came so so it's really hard to explain but so we've done this part the jump the flip and we've to here so now you're not going to land you're going to turn just to there sometimes you might land So you might land on your side or a really weird angle. The way Neville does it, his legs are kind of, I don't know, they're kind of up, they're not straight. Like in gymnastics and dribbling all that, we'd, we'd probably turn like this or like that. His is more like, kind of like that. And it, I reckon it looks sick, it looks really cool and it's really fun to do. So that I can't really explain the twisting. All it is, is that in the air and you're basically going well then so you kind of go and someone asked me I don't know if any other people did but they just wanted to know how did you land on your stomach um, if you've landed it if you know how to do it and you land it um, all you need to do is just you know go and then just forget about the landing and all you need to do is do the gainer and just twist and um, I don't know how slow or how fast you do it. I just kind of just pull it around and sometimes I go way too slow. Uh, one time, I think it might have been the other day, I did it and I was kind of like, my neck was really far back. So you don't want to be like that. Um, and one thing that also helps too is um, your head turns the way that your body goes. So you don't want to be like that when you're doing it. I probably do that, I don't know if I do. of your body is looking that way and you're going to turn like that and you know you might stuff it up and land wrong if it's looking that way and you're turning that way it's going to get really confusing so but yeah so just like a 450 splash like you do a flip but you just don't land on your feet you just go forget about the feet you just go straight to your stomach so you're not landing on your feet you're just rotating a little bit more than you did but with the red arrow you're, if you can't quite land on your stomach so just try land on your feet and if you can't land on your feet yet just try and get that turning around but yeah so you've got the turn so if you landed on your feet you want to put your feet down and as, and as soon as you hit you go onto your stomach we use this technique sometimes and like say with a flip or something so if I was doing uh, learning how to twist this could be a helpful move um, you could go say if I did and then you turn so as soon as you land you turn straight away so with the red arrow if you can really weird but keep doing that and then eventually you might just go whoop boom and land on your stomach it's pretty easy just do the gainer with the twist so just combine them together um, and if you can't do the gainer part just do the backflip like standing like just try to do the backflip standing but if you try to do it onto a teddy you'll have to do it facing that way because if you just do it standing and the teddy or the mattress or whatever you're landing on is here then you're just gonna land there you're not gonna land there so that's why you do the gainer part to push yourself forward because if Neville did it standing well he does do it standing and you actually see him go like this like that and that's why he goes like this if he just went like that and buffed it and went boom like that then he wouldn't get really any power from it and he'd probably land back where he started so if he tried to do a so if you try to do the twist standing you're just gonna land back where you started you wanna do the gainer push yourself forward do the twist bring it down and land 
and you don't really need to bring it down you kind of just fall down because where are you going to go yeah so like i said you want to push yourself up because you've got to swing yourself right up because when you do this you get a lot of height i said that in my phoenix splash video because if you just go straight from there i'll show you what it looks like if you don't have any arm swing And it does look kind of silly and that kind of hurt a little bit. So when you push up, you're getting more power and, and plus it's easier because you can just bring your hands to here. So your hands can just come down instead of doing this and then you have to quickly pull them up. Like that basically just falls into it. This you have to go and you know, pull into it. It's the same with like a backflip. You go like this and when you're in the air, your knees and your hands can just come down. But like some people do it like this and then you have to bring them up. You know? So yeah, I think it's advice and tips and just kind of all the tutorial I can teach you how to do so in the end it should look something like this mine's not the best um, red arrow I, to, to be completely honest I think it's gotten worse um, it's kind of improved because I used to do it like that and now I kind of jump up and like I don't know what I do I do, I do something different than I used to and my legs are really sloppy so sorry about that but yeah I hope you learned how to do it if you didn't but yeah so in the end it should look something like this And that was a really slow twist, but as you saw there, I did a couple of bounces, so you don't have to do it in one bounce. So just get your height first and then do it. The higher you are, it's more fun and more easier. Um, if you do it really low, you don't have enough time to do the twist and you might land wrong. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And those people that didn't learn how to do it, I hope you learned how to do it. Or maybe if you just watched this video, um, just for the fun of it. I wonder how many people just watched it and didn't, didn't do it. <laughs> And make sure you comment if you were able to do it or not and maybe send me a video. Some of your guys' red arrows are probably way better than mine. I've seen some pretty good ones on YouTube. And I don't think anyone's will be um, as ever good as Neville's. But it's a pretty sick move and it is a, it is a fun move if you know how to do it properly. Um, it's not really fun if you're doing everything sloppy and you're landing on your neck and all that. Um, and I've done all of those. So it's just, just practice. That's all you need to do. Um, some people just think, you know, things come straight away. Like, I didn't get 1,000 subscribers in you know three minutes I, it took me a year to get a thousand subscribers so thank you guys so much um and i hope 2016 is a great year because 2015 hasn't been the best year but it's been successful for me on youtube um some videos have been you know annoying that's why i wanted to re-upload this video uh, i'm going to keep that video up because it has over a hundred thousand views um it's pretty embarrassing but you can check that video out too but i think i'd like this one a little bit better um hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching like comment share subscribe do whatever you want to do um and make sure you comment what other moves you'd like to see and what other tutorials you'd like to see. Um, I'll do whatever ones I can do. I just try to do them my best and try to teach them my best. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. One more red arrow. Let's do it together. You ready? See you guys. Say bye. Yeah, even says bye.